This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the pointers in C. When we create a normal variable, let's say int x, and we assign it with a value of 10, then the computer is gonna store this value 10 in a memory cell. So, all if you know that, you know, computer memory. Um, is made of a lot of memory cells and each memory cell has its own memory address okay let's say that we have a memory variable here and um, let's say it has the address 14826 and uh, you know for the demonstration purpose we are thinking that you know this uh, memory address is going to be 14826 but you know um, the actually or in in real you know this value is different so so the computer is gonna place the value 10 here and it's gonna make this x variable here so that we can easily retrieve the value here so if we create another variable here let's say y and we assign it with a value of 20 then the computer is gonna select another memory cell and it's gonna store that value in that memory cell and uh, as in it with the variable y so let's say we have uh, another mem memory cell here which has the memory address 12486 12, and we're gonna call it as j and and uh, uh, make a note that here this 14826 is the address of this variable x so if we can store this value in this um, memory cell let's say 14826 now this variable j containing the address of this memory cell x or memory cell which is containing the value 10 so in other words we can say that you know this j is pointing to this variable x so that's why in C we call this variable j as a pointer a pointer is a variable which contains the memory address this address is the location of another variable in the memory so as you can see here in this example this variable j is containing the address of this variable x so we can directly uh, access the value of this a variable x from this variable j okay now we're gonna close it and we're gonna see how we can use these pointers in our program before begin with the pointers I want to explain about two operators one is called the ampersand symbol or the address of operator and another one is called the star symbol or the value of operator so this ampersand operator is a unary operator which means that which takes only one operand so this ampersand operator when used with a variable is gonna return the address of that variable let's say if you use this ampersand operator with this x then it's gonna return the address of this variable x so this star or the value of operator is the complement of this ampersand operator this star or the value of operator is gonna return the value which is stored in the memory location specified with it so here in this example when we use this ampersand operator with this variable x it's gonna return this 14826 which is the address of this um, variable x so Similarly, if we use this ampersand symbol with this uh, variable j, then it's gonna return the address 12486. So the star operator is used to get the uh, value which is stored in a memory location. So when we use this star with this uh, memory address, it's gonna return the value 10. Similarly, if we use this star with this um, pointer j here, first it's gonna um, go through the way uh, value which is stored in the variable j it's gonna be 14826 then it's gonna search for the memory location 14826 and it's gonna give back the value which is stored in this memory location that is 10 so 
in short we can say that you know this star operator which is used with a pointer j is gonna give the value 10 uh, we're gonna close it again and now we're gonna see how we can use this ampersand and, and star operator and uh, uh, we can use a pointer in our program so to use a pointer first we have to define it similar to a variable first we have to specify the base type of the pointer so here we are we are creating a pointer for the integer variable that's why we're gonna have this base type as int then we have to add a star here then we have to specify the name of the pointer here in this case we're gonna name it as j so the base type of a pointer which defines the type of object to which the pointer will point here this j is not gonna contain an integer value this j is gonna contain the address of a variable which is gonna contain the integer value so in this case this j is gonna contain the address of this variable x and this x variable is gonna contain the integer value so now to make this j to contain the address of this variable x we have to assign the address of x to this variable j so we're gonna use our assignment operator then we're gonna use ampersand operator to get the address of this variable x so now this j containing the address of this uh, variable x first we're gonna use this printf function to print the value of x it's gonna printf and we're gonna write the value of x is percentage d uh, a new line then we're gonna refer the variable x then we're gonna use another printf here and within that we're gonna say the address of x is is that is um, ampersand x is percentage p here we we are using this format specifier percentage p to print the memory address which is used by this host computer then we're gonna add a new line then we have to get the address of this variable x for the purpose we're gonna use this ampersand operator then we're gonna write x so then we're gonna use another printf function and uh, we're gonna say the value of x is x is I mean that is we're using the star operator it's gonna be star then we have to pass address so here the address is gonna be the address of the variable x so to get the address of the variable x you we have to use this ampersand then x now okay now we have to specify the format specifier as percentage d that's because we are getting the value which is stored in that number location so add new line then uh, we're gonna write star of ampersand x it's gonna be printf then we're gonna say the memory address stored in the pointer j is percentage okay it's gonna be percentage p because we are printing the uh, memory address so uh, a comma then we have to write j that's because you know this j is now containing the address of this variable x so next we're gonna use another printf and we're gonna say the value pointed by the pointer j is percentage d that's because it's a value so or integer value then uh, here we're gonna specify um, star j so the star operator used with this um, pointer j that means that okay get in the value which is stored in the memory location specified in this j variable 
then we're gonna use our last printf for this tutorial and we're gonna say the address of pointer j is percentage p and uh, it's gonna be ampersand j save it compile and run it so as you can see here the value of x is 10 that's because we have assigned this value 10 equal to x now the address of x is that is the ampersand x is 0022 ff44 so this is the address of the memory cell which is used to store the value 10 so this is the memory location which is used to store the value 10 and that memory location has given the name x then the value of x uh, by using this uh, star operator or the value of operator is 10 you know that is because you know this ampersand x is going to contain 0022 ff44 and star of 0022 ff44 that means that okay uh, get back the value which is stored in this memory location so that's the value 10 so then as you can see the memory address stored in the pointer j is 0022 ff44 the same as the address of the variable x that's because we have as in using this assignment operator um, the address of this variable x to the pointer j next the value pointed by the pointer pointer j is 10 that is because you know this j is containing the address of this variable x and uh, the value of operator with that address is gonna give the give the value 10 so the last thing is the address of the pointer j is 0 0 to to ff40 that's because you know every memory cell has uh, its own address so similarly this j pointer is also a variable and uh, you know the value 0022 ff44 is stored in this uh, variable or the pointer j so that memory cell has this address so this is it this is about the introduction to the pointer so in the next tutorial we're gonna see some more information about the pointers thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe